All right, you guys. It is literally 11:25. <clears throat> I actually woke up. I don't know why I'm in focus. Come on. There we go. I actually woke up a few minutes ago, but I just started trying to vlog and I don't know what happened. I guess I had my camera set to like a setting where it only recorded for five seconds and so I kept on trying to like record and it literally kept cutting me off. I was getting so mad. Um, I have no idea how that happened. I guess like since this camera is touchscreen, sometimes I like make certain settings that I'm not even like meaning to do. Um, anyways, good morning you guys. It is Tuesday. I literally don't even know what day it is and I'm sure we're all in the same boat. Um, I haven't worked for like two weeks and I've been in quarantine for two weeks. All I've done is like gone to the grocery store and that is really it. And I've gone for like walks and stuff, but obviously I haven't been near anybody. Um, but I thought it would be fun today to kind of do a vlog of just like a normal day in the life in quarantine. Um, I've been seeing a lot of these. A lot of my favorite YouTubers are doing this. And I don't even mind that they're like stuck in the house doing like the same old stuff. Because I just really enjoy watching them. And I just really enjoy vlogs in general. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get into today. But I'm just going to vlog a little bit of my day. And it might be a few days actually depending on the kind of content I get. Um... But I hope you guys are excited to follow along. And I usually start my day by making my bed. That's just kind of how I feel normal and sane. Um, I know we all have different things that are keeping us normal right now. And I think making my bed just kind of makes me feel like productive. And like I've gotten the first task done of the day. And it kind of motivates me to get other stuff done as well. So I'm going to get out of bed because I need to so bad. And um, make my bed and then probably have some lunch <laughs> or breakfast since it is my first meal of the day and oh it's on facetiming all right anyways i'm gonna answer this facetime and then make my bed because i like to sit in my bed whenever i talk to people all right sorry you guys i didn't mean to end so abruptly um it's now literally noon 11:59, and i'm going to make my bed like i said um and then i'm probably gonna make some I still like to eat breakfast, even though I wake up late. I actually don't eat until noon anyway, but I still like to like have something that's a little bit breakfasty. So I'll probably make some eggs or something, but maybe not. Maybe I'll even make a sandwich. We'll see. Not really sure. I'm not even hungry yet, so I'm not really like in the mood for anything specific. But we're just gonna play it by ear. Compare myself to strangers on the internet. Wonder why my moment hasn't happened yet. All right, you guys, I'm making this. <laughs> Can't wait. I've never had this. Uh, I've never had this flavor before. And we're also going to top it with sriracha. Okay, I have to show you guys this while my soup cooks. So for the past, like, two weeks, we've had a bird that, like, will not stop trying to build a nest right above our door. And it's actually really sad. Like, I really want to have a bird's nest right there, but my dad's like, absolutely not. You're gonna have like bird poop all over your door. It's so sad though. They're like literally trying so hard to build a nest and my dad just keeps like knocking it down like with his blower and then he's keeping this little dustpan so they're not able to build it. And I'm really, I just feel bad. Like I'm really feeling for the birds right now. But they've made such a mess. The other day I walked out and literally my porch was covered. I'm not even exaggerating. It was covered in like tree limbs and just like little stuff like this. I don't even know what you would call that. Like grassy stuff. And I was just like, oh my God, this has gotten out of control. Happy Ma always told me I should do my best. Never let nobody get inside my head. At least I got okay, So like I showed you a second ago, these are literally a game changer right now. How much was this pack? We got a pack of like 20, 10. It's like 12 for about like 12 dollars. Yeah, it's like almost like a dollar a pack. And they're super easy. You can microwave them for like three minutes and it's super good. We added Sriracha to ours, which is this brand. Which I think I added too much because my mouth's literally on fire right now. I can barely talk to you guys right now because I'm like, and my nose is running. So, but if you guys need a good meal to have during quarantine that's like super cheap and easy, this is the way to go. I'm literally still dying from that sriracha. Holy cow. I went way overboard. Um, 
but I'm about to just do my makeup really quickly because I'm gonna run to the store it's so crazy because I get like nervous to go to the store and it's just like sad that we're in this state where like people are literally actually scared to leave their homes and then it's actually even more sad that people aren't scared and they're not taking it seriously um so if that is you please just like take a step back and realize that like this really is crazier than you may think and whether you're scared or not at least be just don't be selfish you know like there actually are people dying from this and it's really scary so I don't know just do your part and do what you can to slow it down um I don't know what they're saying is it like to flatten the curve flatten the curve people flatten the curve anyways I'm gonna quickly get ready because um I don't know another thing I like to kind of do now this isn't every day but if you just like do your makeup and kind of get ready you feel a little bit better too just a little bit more normal so I'm going to show you guys just a quick easy look that I'm doing just to run to the store. I'm not going to do like my everyday like eyeshadow or anything like that. This is going to be just like a simple, simple get ready with me. So I'm going to start by prepping my skin with the Glossier Future Do. This stuff is amazing. I really am into like a dewy look. So this really helps me achieve that. I just put it all over my skin. I know some people use it. And they only put it in like the spots that they want highlighted. But I like the way it looks all over kind of as my primer. On top, or not on top, but underneath my foundation. I think it looks really pretty. I don't think I would recommend using this as a primer all over. If you're already using a dewier foundation, I feel like you'd probably look a little out of control. And sweaty. <laughs> but if you have more of a foundation that is more matte and more full coverage, then this is amazing, I think. All right, now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This foundation, you guys, is so, so good. If you guys haven't tried it yet, you need to go get it and try it, order it, whatever you have to do. It's drugstore, so you can get it from like Walmart or anything. But I've learned with this, and really any foundation, that less is more. I typically hate the way my skin looks with foundation on it. But I just was like, you know what, I'm just going to try to put like the littlest amount and see how I like it. And I literally was like, why have I not been doing this my entire life? So I usually put a dot right there, a dot right there, and then a little dot on my forehead. And then I'll just do... A little on my chin as well because I usually end up adding there and then you can always go back and add more but I think if you start small it just helps you a little bit to keep it under control whenever you start with too much you kind of there's no going back you just have to work with it and blend it and whenever you start small it makes things a little bit more clean I kind of do a combination of stippling it and then also like kind of dragging it to blend it in the other areas that I didn't add the foundation and another tip that I really have noticed makes a huge difference is I just use the extra foundation that's left on the brush for like my nose and underneath my eyes because those are areas that you don't want like a ton of coverage anyways. So I found that that really helps my makeup look a little bit more natural and seamless and not so cakey and like crazy. Sometimes I also use a beauty blender as well, but mine's not damp right now and I don't really know the purpose of a beauty blender if it's not damp. If you're not dampening your beauty blender yet, you need to start. It literally makes your products go so much further and just blend out so much seamlessly than if you're using a um, dry beauty blender. So I remember I was using a dry beauty blender for so long and my foundation never looked good. It took so much because it would just soak up all the product. And once I started getting it wet and then using it, obviously you want to get it wet and then like squeeze it out. You don't want it like sopping wet or anything, um, but you just want to have it damp, <clears throat> like I said. And it just makes everything blend so, so much better. So typically I will go in with like a beauty blender afterwards as well, but I don't have it damp right now. So I'm just going to kind of whatever that one. Okay, I would say that's pretty blended in for the most part. Look how good that looks, you guys. I'm literally so obsessed. Actually, wait. I look a little shiny. But that's okay because I go in with powder. I know I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I'm trying to see, like, what you guys are seeing, you know? Okay. 
Anyway, so I really love that foundation. If you guys don't have a favorite foundation right now, try that one out. It's super affordable. I think it's like um, $12 maybe. I could even be wrong. It might be cheaper. But I really like it, and I know a ton of people on YouTube love it as well. So if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely try it. Typically, this is the part where I go in with eyeshadow. I know that's weird. Usually, people do eyeshadow before face makeup. I'm just weird, and I do it after foundation. But it's just not that serious of a day where I need to put eyeshadow on. So I'm going to go in with... Let's do bronzer. So the bronzer I've been using lately, which I don't know if I love it. I think that this one is super shimmery, and I think I like a more matte bronzer, but I am still using it because I bought it and I don't really want to waste it, but this is the L'Oreal Paris Bronze Please Bronzer. It's still a really good bronzer, but I think I just want a more matte bronzer. Why are we not focused? We're back. Okay, but I'm still going to go in with this because it's what I have and I'm just gonna bronze it up I still really like this bronzer though I like the coverage that it gives and just like this subtle tone I just think that whenever I add my highlighter and my blush it looks a little bit too shimmery if that makes sense I just realized my plants in the background and isn't she so cute I'm obsessed you guys I know like everyone's on the plant kick right now but Honestly, I just like I'm happy every time I come into my room because I'm like my plants are so cute I also have like a little succulent back there on my window seal, which she's super cute Okay, I think I'm liking this. I'm just gonna do a little bit more I'm obviously or I'm pretty sure Everyone is aware of this, but obviously I'm not a makeup artist And I just kind of do what works best for me and what I think looks good Um, so don't think that I'm like I know what I'm doing. I don't think a lot of us do, but <clears throat> it doesn't take a makeup artist to do good makeup though, you know? Now I'm gonna go in with blush, and you guys, this is like my favorite blush right now. The color is beautiful, it's drugstore, so it's super affordable, and I don't know, I just think it goes on super, super well and just lasts all day. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Rosy. I would show you the shade, but I know it's not gonna focus well, and I just don't have the time for that. So I usually just go in with about like three little pats and apply it with a brush, obviously. I'm just gonna pat on my cheekbones. I feel like sometimes I go overboard with blush. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit more toned down. I think that looks good. Subtle. Okay. And the other side. I feel like I've seen so many people put blush on and everyone does it so differently. I feel like blush is kind of like the one thing that I am a little awkward doing. Why isn't this focusing? My camera's not being my friend right now. It still doesn't look focused. Whatever. Anyway, I feel like blush is just that one thing that I'm not like super great at. I like to add a little bit to my nose as well, by the way. And actually, since I don't have eyeshadow on, this is something I do and I don't do eyeshadow. Forgot to with my bronzer, but I'll go back in and do it. I just use the excess stuff that's on the brush and go in my crease to kind of make it more defined. So I'm going to do that again with the brush that I used for bronzer. And let's see. Let's, I need to get closer to my mirror and see what, see what we're working with. I'm trying to do it to where obviously you guys can see what I'm doing. And sometimes the setup for that can be a bit difficult. I'm going to go back over with this blush. For some reason, like when I do this... It doesn't look very good, but like it looks good in the mirror, so I'm kind of confused. Whatever. Okay. I've done bronzer and brush. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've done bronzer and blush. And now wherever I didn't put the bronzer and blush, I'm just going to go in with the powder. This is a really good powder that I've been loving, the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Powder. I like it because it's just like super light. It's not like too full coverage or anything like that. And... It just kind of gives me that, um, what am I saying? It gives me that look that I'm going for. <laughs> and I love that it's poreless. I don't like my skin because I feel like my pores are very noticeable. So anything that's like poreless, I'm like, baby, give it to me because that is what I need. But yeah, I just do very, very lightly because I don't like a lot of coverage and I really like to still have like a dewy look and obviously powder takes that away 
and I really want to go under that contour that I kind of did not like a full-on contour but where I did my bronzer and I think I'm happy with that that looks good what do I do now now I'm going to do I really don't feel like doing my brows and I'm actually not great at brows anyway um, typically I just run a pencil through them just to give them a little bit of color but I don't know I honestly don't feel like doing my brows right now so even though they don't look great I'm just gonna leave them as is because I'm literally just going to the grocery store but this is just something to do like if you guys are bored just do your makeup or do something creative that like you know puts you in a good mood whether that be drawing going on a walk working out it could be literally anything obviously it's very personal whatever you enjoy doing do that during this time because you're never gonna have like this amount of free time in your life anymore so do what you can to enjoy it you know I think now what I'm going to do is I guess just mascara the mascara I've been using for like a while now is roller lash by benefit I don't know why I always buy the travel size I'm like oh I don't want to spend the full price on the big one but it's like then I'm just like buying this more often I'm really weird I don't understand I don't understand my mindset sometimes but I'm gonna go in with this you guys this mascara is so good check that I don't know if you can even tell how good it is but I love this stuff I actually always come back to this mascara I've tried others and I don't know this just does something for me that no other mascara has done yet so until then this will be my go-to and then I'll do a little bit on the bottom lash all right that's pretty much the look that I'm going for I'm going to add lip gloss my freaking favorite lip gloss where is she there she is is the NYX butter gloss and my favorite shade I've I've tried a few but this is my all-time favorite I always come back to this one is angel food cake because I love this color I think it looks good on like every skin tone but I usually just like get a lot of the product off the brush because I don't like a ton of lip gloss on especially if I'm not doing like a full glam or anything this is like super super natural looking so we're gonna just take a little bit off and obviously go over your lips if you guys haven't seen my chin Botox fail, you have to check it out because that's the reason my smile looks weird. And like sometimes when I say certain things, my um, mouth just like looks very oddly shaped. I promise you it will not be like this forever. At least I hope not. I'm kind of freaking out about it actually. I like to outline my lips with the lip gloss as well just to like give them that shape without having to use a lip liner and that's that i don't know why my lighting keeps changing by the way i feel like at some points it looks really good and then others it just doesn't <clears throat> i'm gonna set my face now i've been using the morphe continuous setting mist this stuff feels so good it literally is such a mist like some setting sprays are like very overpowering and like come out in big streams of water which is not good and then you have like little water droplets on your face this whenever i tell you it's a mist it's a mist and if you haven't tried it i recommend as well like i don't know if you can see that do you see that check it out all right and then i just kind of fan my face Alrighty, you guys so that was my quick and easy quarantine makeup look actually just like a normal day that I don't feel like putting eyeshadow on the only other step that I do would be eyeshadow but I just didn't feel like going to that extreme today so I'm gonna throw all this makeup back in my bag and get dressed to go to the grocery store I'm just gonna pick up a few things I always cook dinner on Wednesday nights here at my dad's house I live here and I am under like contract to live at my dad's house um don't ask it's weird um but so one of my rules is on Wednesdays I cook dinners and that's like my only rule really. I don't have like rules. I'm 21 and like pay for everything that I do. So like they let me do whatever I want. But if I live here then I have to do certain things which makes sense. So I'm going to pick up a few things to cook dinner tomorrow. I'm really excited because I'm cooking an Iranian dish that I've never made before. I've never even had before. But um my boyfriend actually we're not even dating anymore you guys <laughs> but we're kind of trying to work things out real talk um but anyways so he's persian iranian is persian by the way if you don't know that um 
and he is half Iranian so he like has been cooking all these Persian meals while he's been in quarantine because he never really cooks anything and he made this meal the other day that looks super good and super easy so I'm going to attempt to um, do that so I need to pick up a few things also I need to pick up some coffee and just some like snacking things even though the last thing I need to be doing is snacking but whatever all right so I want to do a little up close of my makeup I think it looks super cute don't know why I look a little shiny right there but yeah that's it also another little tip is if you don't want to do your hair I've really been loving this hairstyle lately I'm gonna do it quickly for you guys it's just like a little bun on the nape of your neck I just take my hair like this hopefully you guys can see like this and get it pretty tight and twist it and then twist around and it doesn't always look perfect but I mean it's not supposed to it's supposed to kind of be more of a messy look so kind of oh there's a little hair sticking out okay so kind of like that and then the way I kind of dress up this hairstyle is just by pairing some jewelry or mainly earrings because my ears are visible and if I don't have earrings on then I just look psycho so that's an easy hairstyle for you guys if y'all have to run some errands but don't really want to fully get ready. This is always my go-to. I look so sleek. So I know the lighting isn't amazing in this mirror, like the way that it's positioned in my room and the like way or the place that it is. But this is what my outfit is. I just have my Air Forces on. I have some cute leggings from Spanx. They're the ones that have the camo. And then I just have it paired with this really cute hoodie that was actually featured in my misguided haul. But I'll have all of these things linked for you guys down below as well. And then just my bag and I'm off to Kroger. So I just got back from Kroger and I had to get gas as well. But don't worry, I had gloves that I could use to pump. I was really nervous about it though. But I was just going to show you guys what I picked up from the grocery store. So like I said, I'm making a meal tomorrow night. So I had to get cabbage. So I got this huge thing of cabbage, which I think it's too big, but it's fine. And I got these are the um, off brand of cuties, but isn't it so cute? They're called Adorbs. They're the Kroger brand. These. And then I got, which is really weird. I used to eat cereal literally all the time. Like I would eat cereal instead of dinner some nights. But I picked up two different types of cereals because I don't know why. Like I've been home and I've just been like craving cereal. So this is my go-to, Fruity Pebbles, which obviously is super unhealthy. So then I got a um, organic cereal. It's called Panda Puffs. And I feel like I, I knew somebody that ate this because they're like super healthy. And I tried it one time and I was like, that's really good. So it's literally just like peanut butter puff cereal, but it's organic and like gluten-free and all that stuff. So I could have like a healthier alternative to cereal as well. I don't even know how much healthier it is. I got this spinach ravioli, which we've already had, and it's super good. I got Greek yogurt, Kiki Oreo Thins. I haven't had these, I don't think. I've had, obviously, I've had um, regular Oreos, but I don't think I've had the thin ones. I got this basmati, basmati, I don't know how to say it. This rice, because this is the rice that you have to use for the meal I have tomorrow, which I love this rice anyways. And then I got blue corn tortilla chips to just have like chips and salsa and they're like a little bit healthier because I'm going to be snacking a lot. I like don't do anything during the day, the day so I just get like super hungry and I eat like crazy so I'm trying like my best to have like healthier alternatives but then again not really but I've been making it like a goal to at least move a little bit every day like whether that be working out for 30 minutes or running on the elliptical going on a walk I've been doing really well at that so I'm proud of myself and then the last thing I grabbed was this vanilla latte iced espresso Starbucks thing which literally took me so long I was like wait is that just a creamer or is that like an actual coffee and then I had to read the sign it said like pour it on ice so I think we're good that was my little grocery haul so I'm probably gonna have a cup of coffee I kind of actually want cereal I don't know we'll see I'm gonna either have coffee or cereal I've actually never bought that Starbucks coffee that I showed you guys but I just poured myself a glass and it is so good it's like sweet but not too sweet is vanilla latte check it out baby sponsor me Starbucks <laughs> you guys 
I ended up, oh, the lighting is so bad. I ended up having a cup of coffee and, okay, I can't with this lighting. It's this light behind me. Ew. Ew, okay, whatever. I ended up having a cup of coffee and the peanut butter puffs. And let me tell you, you guys gotta go grab these. This is so good. I would literally have this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner if I could. 10 out of 10. All right, so whenever I left this morning, it was raining, and I thought it was kind of be, gonna be like an all day thing, just like super gloomy, but the sun is coming out, thank God. So I think I'm gonna go on a little walk in a second with my stepmom, and I don't know why I'm out of breath right now. I just walked up the stairs. <laughs> That's not good. Um, but that's good that I'm going to take this walk, get some exercise in. Um, so we're going to take a little walk around the neighborhood while it's still sunny because I'm not sure if it's going to rain later on. Typically, I like to do my exercise or like movement of the day later on in the day, kind of towards the end of the day. Um, but I just kind of don't really have anything else to do right now. And I will take you guys along on the little adventure we're about to go on. And then I'm probably going to come back and honestly, like, I just had a cup of coffee, but I don't know, I'm kind of just feeling lazy and I just want to, like, lay around and watch YouTube videos. So that's probably what I'll do. And then it's already 3 o'clock. Wow. And then probably around 5 o'clock is whenever I'll start to work out. So, but I'm glad that I'm going to get a walk in because I don't really want to do the elliptical. But I don't know. I feel like in the moment I'm like, I don't want to do it. But since I'm already working out, I might as well just go ahead and get it done and just feel a little bit better about myself. So we'll see what happens. It is cold outside. I didn't realize how cold it was. things and I'm not happy yet. so we're walking and seeing all these bears and I had no idea about this whole bear situation but apparently what is it if you have kids you put like a bear either in your door if you have like a see-through door or whatever or like in your windows or I guess just like in your yard and I don't know if it's like a game or some type of like positivity during this whole craziness but if you guys know let me know down below because I'm so confused but like tons of people in my neighborhood are doing it this is what I'm talking about how do I zoom in do you see the bear in the window that is so crazy I don't understand another one another one Literally, what has my life come to? I just wanted to lay down because that walk really gave me a headache and my freaking plant fell off my window seal. And now it's all out of whack. I'm gonna have to like try and find a way to replant this. I'm so upset. All right, as you guys saw, I freaking knocked my plant over. So I already vacuumed all of it off of my carpet and now I just have to figure out a way I don't even know if you guys can see well enough. A way to keep them alive and like put it back together, which is so sad because like this one's leaf fell off. I don't know what to do. I feel so bad for the plant. I don't even know if I'm like supposed to touch these things really, but I don't know, whatever. Oh, my camera ended up dying and I need to update you guys on my plant situation because that was the last thing you guys saw. So, as you saw, my plant ended up falling over off of my window seal because I like to have it there just so it can like always be in sunlight. And I kind of had to like redo it. I just took everything out and like replaced everything, which I think I did a good job. But as you can see, the and by the way, my nails are so bad, but <laughs> like quarantine nails all the way. Um, the little yellow one like is so unstable and I don't know what to do. It's like I've tried my best to like really try and like dig it in the soil and stuff, but it's also very hard whenever I'm getting pricked like every two seconds trying to do that. 
So I'm kind of just going to like leave it alone for right now and see what I can do later on. But I think I did a pretty good job of bringing it back to life. At least I think so. But after that happened, I ended up just being lazy and doing exactly what I'm doing now. Since I walked two miles today, I was like, I don't have to work out. I walked two miles. It's not a big deal. But I don't know, like half of me kind of wants to do just like some ab stuff. But then again, I'm like, laying in bed doesn't sound bad either. <laughs> so yeah, today hasn't been like super productive. Obviously, the first half of my day was pretty interactive, but not so much now. If I do end up working out, I'll show you guys, but... I don't know, it's not looking so promising right now. I just ate dinner with my family and I had another bowl. So we had a beef stew and then I had another little bowl of that cereal, the organic one that I showed you guys for dessert because I'm literally obsessed with it. You guys should try it if you like peanut butter um, or just like cereal in general. Check it out, it's really good and not as bad for you. Alrighty folks, well that's what a day in the life of quarantine looks like. I'm just taking my makeup now, makeup off now, getting ready for bed, and yeah, I didn't end up working out. I was like, I walked two miles, I don't need to work out. This is probably like only the second day that I haven't actually worked out, so I kind of just allowed it and I'm just kind of whatever about it. Um, I don't know, after my two mile walk, I don't know what it was, I think the sun just like ended up giving me a really bad headache, so for the rest of the day, I just wanted to like lay in bed and kind of relax. But um, I'm glad you guys came along for this vlog. And it would mean so much to me if you leave me comments down below of just the kind of content you want to see during this time. Obviously, I make videos for you guys to enjoy as well. Like, this is very fun for me, but obviously I want somebody else to appreciate it as well. So if you guys have any um, recommendations, just let me know down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Happy, yeah. Happy, yeah.